Tricked by Becca Sparkles? Where have you been, lady? Oh, this is the hottest song right now. I mean, compared to your songs, it's just okay. Oh, oh. Wait, listen to this part. I love this part. She's such a snob. Being smug is her full time job. Whoa, she doesn't hold back. It's irresponsible to jump to disrelated conclusions. You'd need solid evidence to prove that. Um, she's dressed like me and riding my scooter. Look at this evidence! I don't see it. Little Miss Perfect, time is done. Never mind, I do see it. You've been dissed. This bratty singer wrote a diss track about me. Angela, you need to fight back. Ah, but are you really the fighting back type? Oh, can I shout stop? This flower might change your mind. You're right, Hank. I should take the high road and let this one slide. Veronica Savage here with news on the growing feud between Angela and Becca Sparkles. I just heard that at her next concert, Becca will be selling these t-shirts. That's a drawing of Angela walking all over her fans and not giving a hoot. Since Angela has yet to respond, we can only assume that Becca has a point. Ah, forget the high road! Becca Sparkles, get ready to be dissed! I got something that'll really put Becca in her place. Try not to get singed by this burn! Becca, there's no need to be mean. I recommend a yoga routine. Well, uh, it rhymes. That's a start when you do music, right? <laughs> this is hard. I'm not used to writing mean songs. Here, let me help you get in the right frame of mind. Uh, I'm Becca, and I think you're a snobby jerk with a jerky snob face. Oh, yeah? Well, take this, Becca! Judging other people is just not cool. Cause when you jump to conclusions, uh, you look like a fool! What do you think? I think we're gonna need some extra help. Good idea coming to sort of a feud master. Fortunately, I got a lot of dirt on Becca. Check it. She's afraid of bugs. She once stole a balloon. And she tried to be an artist, but ooh, it did not go so well. Yes, Ginger. This is exactly what I need. Let me try something. I was minding my business when I heard her song and all the things about me that she got wrong. She started this. I would let it You might be a little tired from all of that standing up for yourself. Oh, thanks. I like this new strong me, and I guess so does everyone else, because I was just nominated for the best Take No Prisoner song of the year! Whoa. I also got a platinum necklace to wear when I perform at the Singing Awards tonight. Angry Angela's a hit! Angela has struck back with the song Game On Glitter Girl. It's a hit, and it hits hard! Yeah! You bet it does! Take that! Tragically, Becca quit music and went back to her old job at a frozen canned fruit stand. Wait, what? Hey, I heard you're a big music producer. 
Pathetic. Good job, Angela. You ruined a young girl's life. I'm crowning you Queen of Music Me. Oh, no. What did I do? <laughs> Got any bananas today? <laughs> Get lost or I'll write a diss track about you. Ugh, it's Little Miss Perfect. What are you doing? Looking for your tiara? No, I want to apologize. Whatever. I was only defending myself with my new hit song. Say the fake apology, princess. I'm not trying to make you freak out and quit music. The damage is done. Hey, your music and your fruit both stink. <laughs> okay, what if the damage isn't done? We can show people that even if we have our diss songs, we still get along in person. All we need is a picture of us hugging. I'm not doing that. Oh, come on. Stop It'll it. It'll be great. Get away from Trust me. Trust me. This will fix everything. Uh, hey. <gasps> yeah, I guess we both look pretty silly now, huh? It's not that. I'm laughing about how you won't be able to perform at the singies if you're stuck to me. This is so bad for you. Ugh. My friends will be able to separate us. Let's go, Glitter Girl. Stop it! Oh, no! Angela's kidnapped Becca! Uh, did you? Is that what this is? No, we're just stuck together, and you guys have to help us. Well, it's simply a matter of knowing necklace nut architecture to see where... Uh-oh. My art skills might not be up for this challenge. If you stand in this sunbeam, maybe the heat can melt the necklace. I mean, it should only take a very, very long time. Ah! <laughs> I kind of knew that would work, but it sure was fun. That's something I still don't get. Why did you diss Angela? Because she dissed me first! What? <gasps> it was after one of her concerts. Angela, can I get your autograph? <laughs> that wasn't me, you liar! I have the dirt stains to prove it. It's a real she said, she said situation. Ugh. Too bad there isn't some video archive of all your concerts to see what really happened. Hank, yes, there is. The fan site that you were looking at. Here it is. It's right here. The concert where a fan broke his leg crowd surf. Uh, don't worry, fan. I'm going to get you to a hospital. Uh, Angela, can I get your autograph? I have to save this fan. Hold up. You weren't ignoring your number one fan, me, because you thought you were better than your number one fan, me? No, I would never do that. Well, I guess I was wrong. I was wrong, too. I feuded when I should have listened. Mm. I'm sorry. Should we hug for real this time? Bring it in, sister. To break apart, you had to come together. Hey, sounds like a song. Yeah, speaking of songs. In a few minutes, the music queen of Maine will sing Game On, Glitter Girl. Talk about kicking someone when they're down. I love it. Are you going to do it, Angela? Are you going to give the audience what they want?
It was the day of the big dance, the most romantic event of the year. The theme was summer and winter, and my friends were hosting it. I loved my dress. Tom and I were sure to be king and queen of the dance. Everything was perfect. too important to cancel. We're going to turn it into a snowball. I was worried about the frozen floor, but not even the garage's bad plumbing could ruin this. Okay, I got the speakers all set up to blast my awesome playlist. Becca, I didn't know you were helping with this. Yeah, well, it's a pretty big deal, I guess. So, you know, why not? Wow, Tom, this really is going to be the best dance of all time. But it wasn't. It was actually the worst night of my life. I was getting party snacks with Ben when everything started to go terribly wrong. This is going to be the coldest, most romantic night of the year. It's just going to be cold for me. Xenon won't answer my calls. Ben, I'm sure she's coming. Cute flirt with me boots. <gasps> It looked bad, but I was sure Becca would have an explanation. Hey, Angela. Oh, hi, my gal pal. What are you up to? Uh, buying party supplies with Hank. Oh, with Hank, huh? Yeah, he's his own kind of cool. Okay, well, have fun Hank it out. That's what we say when we hang out with Hank, but you already know that, so see you later, friend. <laughs> We should do my hockey idea. Ginger, the town is counting on us to make this a special night. The flamingos are welcome to come, but only if they want to get funky. Yeah. You need to stay away from Becca. What? Why? I, Becca and I are just friends. Oh, <laughs> you are so naive. It's cute. She is trying to steal you away from me. And she's using the dance... <laughs> What do you say? Should we ban her from the dance? <gasps> no. The dance is for everyone. But uh, she's going and I don't want to. Uh -oh. Angela, wait. You're not making sense. We can be friends with other people. Well, then consider yourself dateless. I decided that instead of a dance party, I would have a pity party. No one was invited but me. Hey, what's wrong, kiddo? The doubleberry smoothie usually makes everyone smile. Did I use too much pepper? It's not the smoothie. It's Tom. I uninvited myself from the snowball because he's spending too much time with another girl. Oh, I don't know nothing about that. Maybe take a bubble bath. I hear you multi-celled organisms like bubble bath. She can't just sit in soapy water like a dirty dish. Listen, if someone wants to steal your boy, you've got to fight back. But I tried to fight back. By crying in your fruit drink? That's pathetic. You've got to make Tom realize what a big mistake he's made. Let me see. A little of this, a lot of that. How about some of this? Angela, you are one hot potato. That's just step one. Here's step two. Show up to the dance with another date. What? I don't know, Rhonda. Trust me. If Tom thinks he's about to lose you, he'll be putty in your hands. So look around. What lucky guy is going to be your fake date? <gasps> Hey, 
Tom. You're not the only one without a date. Plenty of us cool guys are going it alone, see? I just can't believe that Angela ditched me because of this Becca thing, which, by the way, is not a thing. I know. Becca is just a friend happen to be currently making an ice heart while staring at you. Wait, is this Becca thing a thing? Maybe I should call Angela. Watch how good my date and I dance. Fine, you know what? I don't care. Angela is obviously just trying to make me jealous. Well, she certainly picked the right guy for that. You see his moves? He can hop and bop. I'll hop and bop too. Hey! Uh, okay. Uh, where, where are we going? When I get close to my secret crush. I didn't realize that was a crime. Hey, I am sorry about this. I am hard to resist, but it's we... It's not you, Tom. It's Hank. Hank Hankerston? The guy who owns the hardware store? No, you! I have had a crush on you ever since we first met. I set up the DJ booth and I filled the playlist with TV theme songs. Your favorite kind of music carved a romantic ice heart, but Tom kept getting in the way as I tried to get your attention. I even tried to get Tom alone so I could ask if you had a girlfriend, but then you showed it up. So when you told me you were hanging out with Hank... That's what I was doing. Oh, well, now you know, Hank. Maybe we can hang out sometime. Uh, uh I have to go to the hardware store. <laughs> <laughs> 